Hey guys, didn't see you there. It's Josh from Flint's Auctions. We're here at Photographica 2023, the second one back since COVID. Let's go inside and let's take a look. Now, as we make our way through the entrance, they're checking everyone's tickets, but of course we're staff here, so we can walk straight through. Special treatment. As we can see, already a good number of people around. And then this is the main entrance now to the Photographica Forum. Here we are. As we can see, hundreds of people already here, looking at loads of different bargains. Let's go and take a look around. Now, here we can see, of course, our very own stall. Our stall's here today to advertise our auction in two days' time on Tuesday the 23rd. We've got Paul here, the banners, some stock and the catalogues. Let's take a look around the rest of Photographica and we'll start this way looking across the left. Now, a lot of you will know the name Mr. Cad, a big name in analog photography. Here is their stall. We can already see 8x10 film in there, a great range of prime lenses, a great range of video cameras. These guys are really not one to miss. Here they are, Mr. Cad, as you can see them, the legends that live and breathe in this photographic community. Thank you so much. And a great selection. I can see we've got Hasselblad. There's a little Leica CL peeking out from inside there as well. A great range of Olympus accessories too. And a lot of Super 8 and Instant Film. We might be coming back to buy some of that in a minute. No worries. And we move on then to some more classic medium format and folders on this side as well. Good range there and good prices too. I've spotted some Pentax with some nice zoom lenses. You don't see zoom lenses for the Pentaxes very often at all. As we move forward, we can see that all different stores in this sale have a great range of different things. A nice beautiful ball head there, ranging through to some nice magic lantern stuff and a lot of great 35 mil in the middle. I can see a, Nikon, a good range of Nikon stuff there to boot. And of course, one of my little favorites there, a lovely little Kodak vanity camera, just on point there, looking it to be in the like, uh, in the, absolutely on point. It looks to be there with a lilac finish, I believe. I could be wrong, I've been wrong before, just ask my wife. As we move on, we can see there a great range of Leica pocketbooks, through into some glass cabinets, and you know the glass cabinets are always gonna be good. This is from the Leica pocketbook stall right there, some great accessories there to boot. We're moving on again, getting a little bit more odds and sods. Of course, hidden away, some great prime lenses there. A nice little G uh, the GX80, really beautiful thing. <laughs> One of those coming up in our sale as well. How are you doing? <laughs> and of course, as you make your way through Photographica, every single store that we see is gonna have something amazing and different on it there. Again, a beautiful range of lenses, some mahogany and brass, a nice Leica M3 set there. 125 Hector, I believe, in the back, 2.5. Got one of those modified to Roloflex SL. A little bit of modern stuff in there as well, XT20. Very nice, a good film emulation modes on there. Ah, a little super icon to hide in a way. How are you doing there, little bunny? Or buddy, I should say. Oh, fun. Fantastic. A great range of photographic accessories right here. A lot of little bits and bobs. Fantastic. Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? Lots of good accessories and everything in between. Fantastic. We possibly will do. See you in a minute. I'll see you in a second. We've also got a lot of clients here, both buyers and sellers, and of course everyone wants a chat, and we'll get to everyone, don't you worry about that. Okay, some more unusual things there. A nice little Roly SL, I believe that's for the 35 mil there, and these have both a waist finder or waist level viewfinder up there, just as well as the standard viewfinder as well. Fantastic thing. Brilliant camera though, it's really, really, really nice. Kawa 6 there looking in the background. Fantastic. As I was saying earlier, every store's got something different. I was talking to this gentleman earlier. Here we've got an Ari SR with the Anjanu uh, 24 to 240, 10 times zoom there. One of the best 16 mil cameras available. And then an Ariflex 16, uh, next to it as well, standard. Beautiful cameras there. I've already asked about the price and very fair prices on both of these. I sell it at nine and a half grand for the full kit with spare mags, batteries to boot. Very nice thing. That, oh, yes sir, yes sir. What we'll do is we'll come back and talk if that's okay and we'll have a chat about it, no problem at all. Because I think it would do quite well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's another good place as well as an auction house. 
not only are you buying stuff, not only talking to buyers and vendors, people are also offering stuff again to sell through the firm and we can always offer a really competitive rate just get in contact and we can talk to you about that. Now on this table here, a lot of business, and I can see already, of course, there we've got Yosef. Konica Hexa right there, one of my favorite all-time 35 millimeter cameras. Beautiful Hasselblad behind as well. This is a nice table, one to watch. And a 903 super wide hidden across there in the back corner. A great range of cameras there. The SW series, of course, being one of my favorite ranges. I'm a little bit biased as a Hasselblad guy. Beautiful camera. Again, we've got a 903 coming up on Tuesday. There's so many ways we could turn. Which way's right and which way's wrong? We're gonna carry on this way. Now, you know when it's in a glass case, you've got some seriously good stuff there. I can see in here we've got a Tele Roliflex, a Roliflex uh, SLX, a mouthful there. 501 CM, one of the later editions there, an all mechanical Hasselblad. So that's got the CF or CB lens on there, released for that one. Pentax 6.7, that is the mirror lockup version, late version there with a metered head. Beautiful looking thing there. Moving along, a good range of gimbals. I believe to be a DJI gimbal, that is going to be a Pro Mavic, I could be wrong. That's very nice. Oh, it's got the Zen News built in as well, very cool, very nice. Yeah, full kit, nice. It's unusual to see one of those in the wild as well, very, very, very cool. Inside today, oh, very nice, 35 1.4 Leica R Summerlux there for the meager price of six and a half thousand pounds, a good price there. M6 Classic, boxed three and a half. And again, DR there with goggles, that looks particularly clean. Sold a few of those in our time, absolutely fantastic. And then, got a Leica in there, Q2 Special Edition, Walt Disney, a very recent release, actually released new in the last couple of months, if I'm not mistaken. Look at this beautiful Walker camera here, absolutely fantastic. You don't see a shine on brass like that very often. Here's some classic brassing with some slightly more modern brassing there for contrast. What a wonderful cabinet this is. There, it's a black Leica there. Again, repaint, MR4 black paint with a summer on. And there, hidden away, Summer Lux spherical there, black paint, 20,000 pounds there. Beautiful lens, beautiful lens. So already a huge range in Photographica and we've only seen about five or 10 of the stores. As we keep making our, wow, every accessory you could possibly want. Fantastic range here, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. That would be a whole weekend misspent if I was to take one of those boxes home. <laughs> Again, we can see there a little a Tower Alma, nice rigid body, uh, not some looks. Oh, it is similar to oh, some Rit, I do apologize, 5, 1.5. Beautiful natural glow on black and white film now. Hey! Of course, a Canon 51.2. It looks like a baby version of the Nikon F1.1, doesn't it? Absolutely fantastic, with a lens hood to boot as well, incredibly unusual. Absolutely fantastic there, nickel finish, and of course a Tenax. And this is from the Real Camera Co. Limited, real cameras indeed. Speaking of real cameras, we've also got an SL66 and a Mamiya 7 into boot. And of course the 645 there with, yep, the 80mm f1.9, the fastest lens for the system and one of the fastest lenses out there for medium format, 1.9, contact 645. And of course, if your wallets are feeling a little bit tired by now, we've got the Kiev 88 at the end to boot there. And again, this is with the real camera co. There we see them picture, check those guys out. Now, as we continue to move around, Beautiful selections there from Leica. Howdy, howdy. What have we got in this one over here? What an absolutely beautiful range there. We have watches, nice wide angle nickel lens, good Canon range finder, Leica range finder there with the summer on 2.8. And a great lens, uh, choice of prime lenses to boot as well. Beautiful display of Roly flexes, taking us up to some beautiful folders at the top as well all of them looking in genuinely fantastic condition. As we move across as well, what have we got here? Wow, look at that. You can oh, look at that Contax T3 sat in there as well. Beautiful range. Aha, and it's one of the Del Sols, a solar powered Canon compact camera. There it is, powered by a solar power. Very unusual, but a very cool thing to see out in the wild. And of course, for those of you who've been watching us for a while, you've got to be used to the Contax T2s. There's a nice gold one there sat doing its thing. <laughs> what a beautiful thing, a nice blue pop. Oh, pop. Conica pop. We'll see more of those as we go on through. 
a very funky looking great wall as well. Look at that guy. Very compact. Might have to have a chat about that later on. Not only do I like the expensive, but I like the weird and wonderful too. Weird and wonderful too. A great selection there from the guys. Fantastic. Here we are now with TLI or the Leighton Image, our good friends. And these guys are real specialists in some really fine and rare items here. Of course, we've got the Leica M monochromes and MEs at the back, and then a load of beautiful, got a Leica 3G, that's there. An M4 repaint, moving along. 3F there, R2A. One of the Voigtlander 515 Sphericals, Summer Luxes. I mean, a lot of the stock from these guys really speaks for itself. Absolute quality. And if you check out their Instagram posts and what they're doing at the minute, absolute premium quality. So for those of you with the discerning taste, this really is one of the places to shop. We can see here a great range of Hasselblad, Bronica, Mamiya, a couple of the H series, a speed graphic to boot. Check these guys out. The latent image, really good range of stock from these guys. Really good range. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, hello again. Oh, am I going to be good now because I'm on video? On top, top, top behaviour. <laughs> so we were, we were using all sorts of profanities earlier, but we'll spare, <laughs> spare, spare you from that. This is the Little British Camera Company. And these guys here are doing a range of film, a range of chemicals there, and everything in between. For a really good range of black and white, really good range of colour, and I'm going to come back to buy some of the Zone Imaging EcoFix later on. Check these guys out, great prices, great film, great customer service, I'm a big fan, to the point that I'm actually going to spend some money with these guys later on today. Thank you very no much. No worries. Thank you. As we come back down this way, another good range of cameras here, unusual viewfinders, we've got some folders, classic binos, beautiful Rabe Flex there at the back, highly collectible, that's there with the Unilite F2, yes it is. Fantastic there. They're following us through now. What have we got here? Is it another one? Another summer it. If you're after summer it, this is the fair for you guys today. Moving along then, some weirdness from Rico. I can see a Contaflex there, bullseye peeking out. With an in unusual there, Contaprox. Very unusual attachment there. But again, a good range of accessories. And that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Now then, moving on. What have we got? I can spy. A great number of 35 here, a range of primes, Voigtlander Vitesse, one of my favourites. Yashica Electros, a Retina 3C, the future classic on the way. It's a 35 there uh, SP from Olympus, another beautiful rangefinder, and of course prominence you're all familiar with. And an incredibly tidy looking Canon F1 just hidden away there. Tidy. That is tidy indeed. Look at the finish on that, absolutely beautiful. It's almost like the day it was made. And again, a huge range of Olympus there. Canon, all of the good classics. These guys are going to see you through for many, many years to come. For a lot of people, it's where they start off their adventure. I've also heard of people starting in large format and going the other way. And of course, digital to film and film back to digital again. This is a great store for you to be able to do that. Now, uh, coming on to the other side, again, a great lens. I've already spotted the Hasselblad accessories. You can see here some large telephoto, but three very well priced there. PME 90. PM90, and then we've got the PM45 just in there as well. And of course, a good range of prime lenses. Yep. Sorry, got a range of cameras there again, more reflexes, a huge number of reflexes there. Reflexes are really popular on this zone. Very, very, very. And as we move forward then, we're going to be onto the table. In fact, you're probably going to find there's going to be a cut just there. And if there was a cut just there, we had a lovely gentleman ask some questions. When he was asking the questions, we were about this close. So we'll continue our journey. Now, I've already spotted a rather big, strange looking lens there. Definitely Air Ministry that. It looks like a Kodak Aero Ektar, but on steroids. In fact, speaking of lenses on steroids, we've got a very long Pentax zoom in there as well. Very nice to see. Some beautiful Kina Exactors across the back there. Yeah, and another Kawa 6. I really want to try a Kawa 6 at some point. Beautiful range again. Cameras, lenses, and everything. Nice Bolex there, is that a P8? Very nice. Very good. As you can see. Yeah. Now, of course, you've all heard of our slightly smaller competitors, Vetstar Auctions. These guys are amazing at producing wonderful catalogues. And these guys are selling some of the rarest Leica and Leica accessories out there. These guys are the guys that have some of the world records for the most expensive cameras ever sold. 
we're talking getting on into the millions and millions of euros. A little bit too rich for my blood, but I'll tell you what, if you want to send in some donations to the Josh and Flint's Fund, you're more than welcome to. I'm just joking, don't worry. Now I can see already, we've got Cosmophoto hidden away here. A lot of people. Now Cosmophoto have recently released their Agent Shadow film. It's a 400 speed film, you can see it there. Buy it by the brick, a lot of good stuff. Again, Cosmophoto being experts in all things Soviet, Pavaria film stock, an absolute all round champion, guys. I definitely recommend these guys. Check out their film, check out all of their good stuff. And some of the most beautiful packaging available on the market as well. They also run a lot of photo walks across London, so do look out for the Cosmophoto photo walks. Really good fun and a great opportunity to meet other people that are really into this stuff like we are. Now, over here we've got Alfie camera or Chroma camera and they've got a load of really modern 3D printed large and medium format stuff here. There's the Chroma Cube, double gauss lenses. Now these guys are some true innovators when it comes to cameras. These are all made in the UK and they're absolutely amazing. So there's Chroma camera, Chroma camera, not Alfie, we'll see those guys later. Really, really impressive stuff. Again, all of this stuff, 3D printed, can be made to order. Get in touch with those guys, and I'm sure they'll be able to help you out with almost anything you want in the 3D printed camera uh, market segment. Oh, after you, please, no problem. Now, this is where the real bargains can be found. A great range here of print, no worries, amber types, every compact camera under the sun, one of my favorite stores because you will always find something that you didn't know you wanted, but you definitely do. The last time I was here, I bought five Cosmic 35s from this store and I kept coming back because they just kept coming out of the woodwork. Any today? None today, but what I have spotted already is one of my favorite compacts of all time, the Canon Sure Shot Telemax. I've got about six of these, they never die. Take a simple CR123 battery and the shots on these are really good. So if you want a cheap new alternative, I haven't got my Mew on me at the minute, it's back in the bag, but this is a really good one to do. And again, the Sure Shot Max has got the same one with a fixed lens. Great range of compacts, great range of SLRs, and one of my absolute dreams, there's so few places where you can still do this, you've still got the bargain bins. Now the bargain bins are amazing. You can find anything in the bargain bins. We've got Minolta SLRs, we've got some nice little point and shoots, right the way through to some slightly uh, earlier chrome examples. I mean, literally, you look through here, you'll find something fun. So you don't always have to come with handfuls of cash to Photographica, but it does help. But you will always find something great with these guys here. 10 pound each, if you needed to know, from the bargain bins. Who knows, maybe a Super 6 hidden in there, but we haven't got time to have a little look. Now, this is one of my favorite stores. I was with these guys last year and I bought quite a few things from them. And this is where a lot of really premium stuff is, really premium stuff. So if you're really serious about photography and you wanna buy a proper, proper camera, these are the guys to come and see. The last time I was here, I bought a Konica Hexar from these guys. It's still going, I've taken it to so many different countries and it was one of the best places I've ever bought a camera from. So again, 672, and here we have of course, the TX1 by Fujifilm. Probably the coolest camera here. Absolutely incredible. If I sell my hand to these guys, they might sell me the camera. I'll see if I can persuade them. If not, we'll team up together. As we come round, howdy, howdy. As we come round, of course, if any of you need refreshments, refreshments upstairs, toilets down to the bottom. And we continue then to SE cameras. Here's SE cameras. Another firm that I bought from recently, I picked up a Fujifilm GA645i from them. I took it to Italy and it was absolutely fantastic. The camera is beautifully clean, still working, a treat. And look at these guys, a great range there. And these guys are particularly good at selling very clean, very good looking cameras. This isn't a bargain shop, this is a shop you come to buy something good that's going to see you through for a long time. And Steve and the team here are absolute experts in the field and they know exactly what they're doing. And again, you can see already from their table, they've made a lot of sales today. Thinning out on stock, there's still some great pieces left from the 6.7 through the zoom lenses and everything else. Even some reskinned Olympus trips there, if you're feeling a little bit trippy, sorry about that. <laughs> again, that's SE cameras. Now, here's my favorite Hasselblad seller, John. And here we have the best range of Hasselblad in the entire building by a chuffing mile. I won't swear, but I am excited. You can already see that might be coming home with me at some point. It's got black paint on it, so I'm already excited by it. 
Fully serviced by Classic V. Fully serviced by Classic V, there you go. That's a really good place considering with the service as well. Fair enough. Just come back as well. Nice. So forget your £2,000 ones on eBay. This here is in at 1575, fully serviced with the 80mm play now, ready to rock and roll and it's tidy as anything. And the nice 40mm there, beautiful. I've had a conversation about that. But if you want really good service hassle blads and anything in between, this is where to come. <laughs> no worries. Oh, and there's a Linoff 617 just chilling up at the top as well. I can already feel my wallet committing suicide in my pocket. <laughs> what a beautiful, beautiful range of stuff. Thank you for joining the team. Now we're going to make a little bit of a V-line. We're going to go the long way around because we can't see anything or everything today. It's a nice little Fuji 6.9 though. If you want a 6x9 camera, the closest you can get to large format without being large format, that is the camera to buy. Absolutely fantastic. There were some really cool cameras on that table. We'll have to come back at some point. But now we're going to go and find our good friend Peter Loy. Because Peter Loy, as you know, is a name very renowned in the field. A lot of mint and rare cameras, a lot of very unusual stuff. A great place for a Leica, Leica copy enthusiast, or someone that likes very nice things. This is Peter Loy's store, and as you can see, the flavour of the stuff is where it's displayed, and everything's behind glass because it's just pure quality from Peter Loy here. Pure quality today. Every single thing here is absolutely beautiful. And Peter's got a really good eye for only bringing in some of the best stock. So if you're looking something and you're a discerning buyer and you need it to be near mint with a good degree of information, Peter Loy, collectible camera specialist, this is where you want to be. I mean, just look at this case. Almost every type of collapsible you could possibly want. A great range. There we are. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you, Peter. Peter Loy from Peter Loy Cameras. Buy your Leica, like your accessories. This is where you want to be. A huge range of lenses we can see there. A good range of range finders, of course. We're right there from Leica 3s right the way to 3Gs. A nice blind MD on the side and everything in between. But in these last couple of cabinets, we've got some true weirdness as well. Already we've had a conversation about this beautiful Marshall Press. Now, Peter told me earlier, this was designed by Mr. Mamia, is that correct? There we are, I've remembered. Designed by Mr. Mamia, what a beautiful piece of kit. And look at the size of that rangefinder mirror in there. Absolutely incredible. And then, of course, I believe we've got there, is that the Auto Range? Yes, Auto Range 820 with, of course, the Ross Express. Three colors on there, so you know it's good. Down for the Nikon FM2. And then some more beautiful folders. And then the Vito 3 there. And as we move across, my favourites again, a black paint 503CX. Again, if I can get my wallet out, that might be coming home too. Through M with a 501CW, a Roly SR66, and everything else in between. And there is the little uh, Super Fujika 6. What a lovely little camera that is. Very unusual, you can just see it peeking out there. But again, Peter Loy for your really high end, fine and rare cameras. I'll do another plug. Collectible camera specialist. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Back round again? Okay. Absolutely. Can we do one more, actually? Can we do Teddington? I want to do, just I want to plug Teddington. <laughs> we'll cut that bit. Now, I spend a lot of time in London. I do a lot of analog meetups, meet a lot of people. And when I've been in London recently, I spent a lot of time with Teddington Photographic. Not only did Teddington Photographic sell a huge amount of used cameras, lenses, and film, they also have a studio on site that you can rent out, which is absolutely fantastic. A great range of lights, a great range of rack drops, and their staff, uh, friendliness second to none. And as we can see here, a range for everyone. Medium format, Polaroid, all the lenses and accessories you could possibly uh, muster, including some rather unusual things as well. A huge range of film these guys have got. And again, some of the best staff out there. So if you're in Teddington and you're looking for a great range of film, studio access, a couple of cameras, I recommend coming and saying hello. And again, prices for all ages and all financial responsibilities. There we go. And there's the team at the back. Give them a wave. Teddington Photographic, best people out there. <laughs> so, we've had a nice wander through now. And as you can see, there are many more tables we can look at. But let's have a little look, a bird's eye view. The good thing about this venue is it's nice and airy. Almost went the wrong way. Single file? <laughs> no problem. Okay, we're clear. Let's make our way upstairs. Hopney, jipney. Okay, I can feel it getting warm up here. I can feel the heat. <laughs> a 
and this gives you a nice idea for the scale of Photographica. Now we are a little bit later in the afternoon, it's about quarter to one. This is the quietest I've seen it today. There's been queues outside every single door and every single entrance, but this gives you at home a really good idea of what's available. If you can think of a photographic item that's analog, you will find one here. So I hope you've enjoyed our very little tour there at Photographica. Next time we go here next year, we'll try and see a couple more stores. So if you want to know what's going on with the Flints, go onto our website, flintsauctions.com. And if you're interested in what's happening with Photographica, it's run uh, by the P... Yeah, it is, yeah, PCCGB. That is the Photographic Camera Collectors Club of Great Britain. I'll do that again. It's the PCCGB, the Photographic Camera Club Collectors Club, 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 Britain, Great Britain, Camera Club. Camera Club, basically put in as many PCs and Gs in, and you will find them. This is put on by those guys. They're absolutely fantastic. A real, real important uh, part of the analog community there. And they put all this on for you. So yeah, come on down to Photographica. It's probably too late this year, but we'll see you again in 2024. And we'll look at lots more exciting stuff that time.